Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT. I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, wanted to talk about the Super Flyweight division because it's February. We're not too, we're not too far away from the, the fight I'm probably most excited for out of all the scheduled fights, and that'll be happening on the 24th. You're gonna have Sistriket, and I'm fi I'm finally saying his name right because for one, he knocked out Roman Gonzalez. So I gotta put some respect in his name, and two, it's just I finally figured it out. So Sistriket Sorwan Versai. We'll be taking on uh, Juan Francisco Estrada. That'll be, that'll be on 24th, HBO. This will be their second edition of their Superfly, uh, you know, card series. The, the, the second one they're doing where they have all the super, super flyweights on the card and flyweights, which I think is great for boxing. And we got to thank, you know what, before I get into the video, we got to thank Romo Gonzalez for that because Romo Gonzalez put this weight class on the map. Romo Gonzalez pretty much, you know, he's the reason we, he's the reason that a lot of boxing fans even care about any of these guys. And, um, so shout out to Romo Gonzalez, aka as we call him on this channel, loss, win, draw, the real TBE. Now, um, Juan Francisco Estrada, wrong Versailles, stylistically fantastic fight. Um, but um, I just realized something uh, recently because now that Inoue moved up to 118, this fight is going to be for the lineal 115 pound title. If you guys, for those of you who don't know what the hell lineal champion means, that means you're fighting for the title, which basically means. You're the guy who beat the guy. You're the man in the division. Now that Onoe is not there, it's, so basically, whoever wins this fight is the guy in the division. And um, man, I know a lot of people are gonna pick wrong beside man, and maybe I should maybe I should pick wrong beside because that, that dude put me wrong twice. But I've been high on Estrada for a long time. You know, a lot, a lot of you guys know that I'm, I've been very high on Roman Gonzalez, but I've also been just as equally high on Estrada. Um, throughout the years, and I just feel like that's I feel like he's the most underrated fighter in boxing, hands down, most underrated fighter in boxing. Uh, he's the best Mexican fighter in the world today, not Canelo. He's better than Canelo. That's number one. Number two, um, after Roman left flyweight, he was he established himself firmly in the, when it was a pretty damn good weight class. He established himself firmly as the number one guy in the division. But was a very dominant champion, um, more so than most fighters in boxing. Became a unified champion, defended his belt about two or three times before he moved up. Came up to 115. You know, had a close fight with Carlos Cuadras, who Roman Gonzalez also beat, beat him, and now he's going into this big fight with Rungvisai. And I just think, like, man, for me, he's top five pound, for, top five, top six pound for pound fighter in the world. I mean, to do what he's done, to beat the fighters he's beaten. You know, he fought Roman Gonzalez when Roman Gonzalez was Roman Gonzalez and um, gave him the hardest fight of his career up until he lost. So, you know, you got to put respect on his name. Um, Estrada will be fighting for the lineal title. Wrong Vasai, I mean, that guy, been a world champion before he fought Roman. Then he fought Roman, and um, he just put it on him. So this fight right here, man, I, I just feel like, you know, it's, it's getting closer. Um, or what? It's It's – Currently February seventh as I'm shooting this video, so I know a lot. Of, it's still it's about 17 days away at the time of me shooting this video, and you know I, I don't really hear a lot of boxing fans talking about it. I don't see a lot of channels talking about it, and I just want to be I, I, I want to bring it to your guys' attention that hey, this is not just a big fight for the division. This is a big fight for boxing. This fight has pound for pound implications. This fight has implications for who is the best guy and arguably one of the best weight classes in boxing. Um, and it, it to me, as far as I'm seeing, as far as I see it, you know, Wrong Versailles has the wins against Roman Gonzalez. Wrong Versailles had the fight with Quadras where um, it was close. You know, Quadras gave him a good fight. He gave Quadras a good fight, but it was it was ended on a head clash. So I'm looking at it for Wrong Versailles. He can now firmly establish his legacy if he wins this fight against a guy that for many years has been one of the best fighters in boxing. And uh, for Estrada, this is a fight where no longer can you be slept on. You know, you win this fight. No longer can you be slept on. No longer can you be underrated because it's going to be – you're going to be the headliner. You're going to be fighting in the main event. Um, you're, you're, you're going to be fighting a guy that people right now have a very high opinion of because he knocked the hell out of Romo Gonzalez. And um, you'll be the underdog, but you know what? I'm picking him to win. I got him I got him thoroughly outboxing. And, and uh, I don't want – might even stop Ron Vasai. I don't know, but I think it's going to be Ron Vasai regardless of the fact. So, yeah, that will be for the lineal championship. You guys, just keep that in your minds that it's for the lineal crown now that Inouye is not in the division. Um, also on that card, I kind of talked about it already, but you're going to have Quadras and McWilliams Arroyo. Donnie Nietzsche will be fighting on that card. So overall, it's, it's going to be a very good card that HBO is putting on. Um, and honestly, has a chance to be the card of the year. So a uh, big shout-out to 
HBO and uh, my main man Peter Nelson over at HBO. Hopefully, um, the card lives up to the hype. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, Estrada versus Rongbasai for the lineal 115 pound title. Who you got and why? Um, let me know in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe, and you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding from doing it. So until next time, take care, guys.